Till he returns or calls me home Here in the power of Christ I stand oh. Alexis Alger Lynch was born on February 19, 1998 in St. Paul, Minnesota, where she was raised all of her life. Once she hit her teenage years, she attended Como Park Senior High, where at first she had an interest in basketball, but quickly turned her focus to music. For you see, Lexi, as she was known by many, came from a well-known music family background, where her grandfather was Roger Troutman, who founded the band Zap. Her father was Roger Lynch. So she transferred to the Creative Arts Secondary School, but later on dropped out completely to pursue a career full time. Like many of today's aspiring talent, Lexi started making her music and remixes by posting them on platforms such as SoundCloud and YouTube. Picking up momentum little by little, in 2014, following her 16th birthday, she released her first mixed album called Super Sweet 16. This led to many other opportunities like collaborations with people like Rocky Diamonds, Sean Sloan, and a close friendship with Kalani Parrish. Lexi would also go on to release two other mixed albums titled In the Meantime, and feel less. But it was her feature on Kalani's You Should Be Here debut mix album that gained her media attention. That and her continued rise on social media where she would post tons of selfies of herself. Next thing you know, Lexi Alger was performing at Soundset Music Festival, opening for music talents such as Playboy Cardi, Lil Uzi Vert, and Rich the Kid. And on September 8, 2017, Lexi will release her first full-length studio album titled Growing Pain. Lexi Alger was definitely on her path to greatness, for she had it all. She had the look, the charisma, and she definitely had the talent. Sadly, however, on New Year's Day this year of 2020, Lexi was found deceased at the Lowe's Hotel in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where according to her toxicology report, she accidentally overdosed on a mixture of fentanyl and alcohol. While Lexi's death is officially ruled an accidental OD, some argue that she may have in fact committed suicide. But why would a 21-year-old a beautiful 21 year old who was just starting to break into the music industry all of a sudden take her life. Well, some think it's because of her family's history. For you see, Lexi's grandfather, Roger Troutman, was murdered by her granduncle, Larry, who committed suicide afterwards on April 25th, 1999. And her father, Roger Lynch, died from pneumonia and head injuries on January 22nd, 2003, which makes Lexi's music career sound more like a curse than it does a blessing. But those are just some conspiracy theories from some. It still doesn't change the fact that this beautiful, intelligent lady is gone and she will be missed. Lexi Alger is buried at the Rose Lawn Cemetery in Roseville, Minnesota. She was 21 years old. I'm Psycho Rick, saying until next time, thanks for watching. Till he returns or comes.